you know, a really nice game for you personally, but obviously uh, defensively the team was uh, a little challenged. And uh, Darko was saying that the, maybe the playmaking wasn't as on point as he would like to see it. Um, you know, what do you take away from that? Um, I think it was, you know, interesting. I mean, uh, you know, they're they're a good team. I mean, they were moving the ball. We we were getting there. I think our first and second efforts were good actually. But you know, when when they just kept going all the way into the shot clock, and then somehow would find. You know, an open three. In terms of the ball movement and stuff, the, uh, was there anything they were doing that was kind of like you had a lot of advantage when you you drove to the paint? Was there anything they were doing in terms of cutting off opportunities, not just for you, but generally for your ball movement? No, I think you know with them, um, they're you know they're really aggressive defensively, um, so you have to you have to know how to pick your spots. You know, for me, like you know, uh, luckily I've just had the fortune of just playing against them so many times and you know playing against them in the playoffs and stuff so I have a lot of you know film to watch but just they're you know they're really aggressive really good defensive team um, they switch up coverages whether it's switch heads trap zone you know everything so you kind of just gotta uh, try to make a quick read and I think we had I think we had a lot of good driving kicks I think we could add some more but you know we didn't make you know, shots that we would normally make. I mean, how many? I don't know how many threes Gary made today. One, maybe, but like that's just not, you know, that's not normally uh, what we do. So I'm, I'm sure on Sunday we'll, we'll be better. Um, kind of looking at a higher level, just because next game is the last game of the season, 82. Mm -hmm. um, what stands out to you about your time as a Raptor this season mm -hmm. so far? Oh. Uh, I've I've had a lot of fun. You know, just being here, playing here, um, just everything in general, uh, whole organization, just. You know, is is bigger than basketball uh, for me. So, I've uh, I've really enjoyed my time here so far. Obviously, I hope to you know be here for a very long time and just uh, to see the guys and see especially our core guys having able, been able to play together a little bit. Um, just you know seeing some of the success we had, some of the things we need to get better at. Just looking forward to getting into the summer and like and working with those guys and coming back stronger next season. And then when you say like getting better, like what area stands out to mm -hmm. you with this team that you would like mm -hmm. to see more? developed going into next season? Well, I think one, we just need more reps. Um, you know, we need reps, we need a training camp. We need just, you know, time to, to, to gel together and continue to learn each other. Because I, I feel like once we have that time and we figure it out, we'll be really good. So, uh, just defensively, when you, when you don't have Jakob, or how, how difficult is it to protect the rim, protect the paint, and still uh, kind of find a way to get to the shooters that uh, Miami can put on the floor? I thought that from the start of the game, Miami did a really good job of establishing the balance of attacking the paint and uh, making our defense collapse. Um, I don't think that we did a good enough job of staying in front of the ball. Uh, uh, in our rotations, they were not really good. Communication piece was not there in the first half. They opened up some pretty easy shots for them and uh, allowed them to find the rhythm early in the game. On the other side, I thought that uh, our ball movement whole night uh, was not what it needs to be. Uh, we had only 10 assists in the, in the first half. And when we tried to play that way, we learned very quickly that uh, we that's not sustainable and that's not a good fall for whole team. So ending up game with 23 assists uh, and 17 turnovers is, is not who we want to be and how we want to play. What was the uh, message in the locker room post game? Uh, message in the locker room post game is uh, don't take anything for granted. You know, uh, you're 20 years old, you're 23 or 25 years old. Do not take anything for granted. I understand we are not in the playoffs, we're not in the play in, but this is NBA. You're playing in the best league in the world, and everything matters. And everything matters. Nothing changes from from me since day one until the, the the last second of the last game. Everything matters. You gotta have that type of mentality because that's how you get better. That's how you improve. You know, I I, I have nothing to object to our guys uh, the way we played against Brooklyn, and that was 48 hours ago, competitive and staying in the game for for 48 minutes with with great effort. Not just effort of playing hard, but effort to do what the team needs to be done. You know, so uh, that's the message, and we gotta come back on uh, Sunday and, you know, play much better. Uh, I know you weren't pleased with the ball movement in general, uh, but RJ had 35 points tonight. Really, the only guy who really got it going offensively. Uh, what did you see from what he was able to do within the way the offense was working? 
Yeah, he he was uh, aggressive. He was able to get to the rim. Uh, I thought that all threes that he took were built, you know, came from from wide open shots, uh, good good possessions. He was able to get to the free throw line. Uh, he grabbed uh, 11 uh, rebounds as well, but uh, three five points and again three assists. I wish he 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 had more in that column there. You know, and uh, I see RJ as a scorer, but also I see him as a playmaker, and he he needs to do a better job uh, for Russ of connecting with other guys because he is he can touch the paint anytime he wants, and when defense is collapsing, he needs to make good decisions of connecting with teammates. Thanks for watching the Toronto Raptors YouTube channel. Check out our latest videos and subscribe for more. Gary, sidestep, three!